Tabletop computing is novel, but little has been done to evaluate user engagement beyond the initial wow factor. Once tabletop computing becomes a common technology, we'll need to be able to design experiences that are both practical and engaging. We define user engagement as a multidimensional concept that includes both behavior and affect. Behavior is what a person does, including observable phenomena such as attentiveness, frequency of use, and group dynamics. Affect, or emotion, is what a person feels, including subjective phenomena such as expression, interpretation, and sense-making. To look at tabletop computing beyond the wow factor, our study seeks to measure engagement using multiple input gestures in a collaborative setting. In this study, we are looking for engagement triggers and how they might differ with multiple gestures across different contexts of use. From our work, we hope to discover certain types of gestures that might be more engaging in certain contexts, as well as look for insights about accessible tabletop design for collaboration. We are working with the Mitsubishi Diamond Touch Table, which can handle certain types of multi-finger gestures, as well as distinguish between four different users at once. We have based our research on collaborative work, to which the Diamond Touch Table is well suited. Using body storing, participatory design, and exemplar research, we designed 40 different gestures for the Diamond Touch Table. We then distilled these down to 12 different gestures spanning a broad range of gestural types. We have designed and developed a free play activity for the purposes of our preliminary research and to introduce participants to the gesture palette. In this activity, participants can individually choose any of the 12 gestures and interact with several colored balls on the table. We have conducted a month of preliminary research with informal and impromptu groups of one to four participants interacting with the free play application. This has led to the following insights about engagement. The table we are working with requires that users maintain contact with the conductive pad. Since people can't move around the table and still be able to interact with it, they tend to focus on the perceived personal space and the surface area directly in front of them. We have observed participants interacting with the table in both sitting and standing positions. Each position has a different effect on users' engagement with the group and with the table, as well as how finger movement is interpreted at the table. We have also seen several engagement triggers when using the various gestures. These include the discovery of unintended or novel uses of a gesture, prompting to try new gestures by more experienced users, and the idea generation that takes place when mapping a new interaction with familiar or anticipated interactions. We are currently in the process of designing two more activities to complement the free play activity and provide different contexts of use. The first will be focused on collaborative creation where groups of three to four people can create a piece of art using the gestures of their choosing. The second will be focused on accomplishing a task where groups of three to four must choose interactions that work together to accomplish a goal. After the applications have been designed and developed, we will run several two-day research sessions. We will observe user engagement in our study participants using a mixed method approach, including physiological measures, behavioral measures, and self-report. Learning how people become engaged is critical to creating immersive experiences using tabletop technologies. By learning the physical and emotional factors that contribute to engagement beyond the wow factor, designers can harness engagement in their designs and tabletop surfaces.